here sharing some uh, body MRI cases with you. Uh, start off with a fairly straight, straightforward case of an MRCT. This is a video clip uh, of an MRCT of a patient uh, who had gallstones, uh, was going for cholecystectomy, uh, got done um, to rule out cholelithiasis, cholelithiasis. Um, as you can see on the thin section coronal images. And also the MIP images here, we can see um, filling defects in the distal common duct and confirming polydocolithiasis. Um, typically, uh, MRCT imaging is done to evaluate common duct and common duct pathology, mainly um, common duct stones, as you can see here. There are a few things I just wanted to um, point out regarding MRCT imaging. Um, Normally, both axial and coronal uh, heavily T2-rated images, uh, thin section images, are done. Uh, <clears throat> typically, uh, single shot FSC sequences are a case, depending on which vendor you use. Um, a couple of things, uh, pitfalls to keep in mind. In axial case images, you can get central filling uh, defects, which are really slow artifacts and not uh, stone, so not to be mistaken for two filling defects. Um, if you see something like that, you can always uh, confirm with uh, a bright blood imaging or so-called CS imaging on GV or true fist imaging if you're using Siemens or balanced FSC. Uh, they're all basically the same sequences, um, EFSC in um, Philips, which will not have slow artifacts. And certain other things which can cause filling defects, as you all know, or is hemobilia, and also um, hemobilia can uh, show up as filling defects. Of course, it's helpful to know um, some patient history before we look at images. And also, as you can see, anything that uh, that has fluid um, in it will show up as uh, bright areas. So um, ascites could compromise um, MRCT imaging, and also a lot of fluid in the stomach or uh, surrounding structures, with, uh, such as hydronephrosis um, or perineptic fluid. Um, any fluid in and around areas we want to look can cause problems. Um, pancreatic duct is also evaluated on MRCT images. Um, and um, some people have used secreting to um, better image the pancreatic duct. Uh, but I don't think it's a common practice. OK. Um, moving on, some selected T2-rated uh, axial and coronal images. Um, again, uh, the patient had a finding on um, ultrasound, which prompted focal gallbladder ball thickening, uh, which prompted um, MRI imaging. Uh, if anyone wants to kind of take a crack at it and shout out uh, what this is, uh, feel free. I'm sorry. Yes, uh, you can see these kind of nodular, semicircular area. Um, in the T2 whited images, which are fluid cells, right, because they are bright on T2. And then on the contrast enhanced images down here, the same areas do not enhance. They're actually dark. Um, so basically what this is, and again here on the coronal, on the coronal images, again, you can see this beaded circumferential appearance um, in the region of the fundus. And uh, this